Thanks, I'm Nick from Sibling Architecture, here to present today a uh, cute and special little primary school that we did for the uh, Box Hill North Primary School um, as part of the Victorian School Building Authority. Ooh. So the site's located in Box Hill North, a middle ring established suburban suburb on Wurundjeri land. Um, and the site's located just south of the Kunung Kunung Creek, um, which runs alongside the Eastern Freeway in eastern Melbourne. Um, so when we first started looking at the project, um, I guess one of the things that the school was really important, or um, wanted to try and get across was this, I guess, street presence. It felt like the school was very recessive and there wasn't a lot of presence um, from the community, uh, save for, I guess, the beautiful uh, eucalypt trees that were lining the Elizabeth Street entry. Um, the building stock across the site was from the 50s, 60s and 90s and was in pretty poor condition. Um, and so part of the master plan was trying to reconcile, uh, I guess, that across the whole site. So the master plan that we did for the project introduced four new buildings, kept the existing uh, BER uh, and the existing kindergarten and created this new, uh, I guess, uh, central courtyard or spine through the space that people would be able to navigate through. And the first project that we looked at um, was the Junior Learning Hub, which is this building here up on um, the Elizabeth Street frontage. So considering it was a Junior Learning Hub for preps one and two, we started, I guess as a bit of a departure point, we started to look at uh, the context and the vernacular of Box Hill North, um, the established suburban context and start to draw um, from the materiality and the forms um, of, the, of the neighbourhood to really try and, I guess, when these little kids were coming to the school, try and make them, I guess, have a sense of, uh, feeling a sense of welcome or home and not being sort of daunted by the prospect of going to school. Um, so the building that we were looking at was connected to the existing kindergarten. So we looked at demolishing um, the kindergarten, establishing the new building, which began to play with this idea of bringing the home and the school together, and then created this new entry courtyard, which was all about, I guess, connecting the kindergarten and the junior learning hub together, um, so that those two communities also could, um, I guess, come together and kids from the kindergarten would then be drawn into the, um, into the new junior learning hub. The building is a staggered um, floor plan made up of eight classrooms and that creates uh, two neighbourhoods with a central corridor space and staff working. Um, I guess key to the idea uh, of, the, of the design was these two scooped entries and they sort of act as um, gathering spaces for the school and particularly the one down in the centre of, um, of the site. Um, this is the main entrance into the Junior Learning Hub and again connects to this kindergarten and so it's about fostering this connection even with parents. The kindergarten currently operates independently um, of the school and so it was important to try and connect that but it was also located at the centre. Um, the, yeah, there's two main neighbourhoods which are broken up. Um, yeah, there's operable walls that allow for kind of team teaching and the central corridor um, rather than just being a circulation space, we wanted that to be spaces that could be used and shared and breakout spaces between all of the classes with a central wet area zone. Um, when looking at the section of the project, uh, windows were located to, to draw in northern light. Um, Pop-ups in the roof were also about drawing southern light into the space and also assist with night purging of the building. Um, colour was an important aspect when we started to look at the project and we began to draw inspiration from the Kunung, Kunung Creek and the wattle that grows uh, on, the, on the banks of the river um, and started to apply this as a wayfinding strategy throughout um, both the campus and the interior um, of the project. And you can begin to see here how the colour begins to define those neighbourhoods as well as the, um, this central spine and breakout spaces within the, within the floor plan. So as you enter the school uh, off Elizabeth Street, you're now, I guess, welcomed by this scooped facade, which also has the new signage announcing the school um, back to the street and is beautifully framed, as I mentioned, by these existing eucalypt trees that we were lucky to have on the site. They also project beautiful dappled light onto the building at certain times of the day. Uh, and as you, I guess, look down um, the courtyard, uh, the canopy and the staggered form begins to form these shaded seating areas outside of uh, each of the classrooms and begin to draw you in um, to that main entry uh, via the ramp that you can see at the, the end there. 
connecting those two scooped entries uh, is this, um, I guess, the, the formal language of the project, which is relating back to that idea with this lightweight uh, top and canopy and this solid base punctuated by these vibrant uh, orange windows. Windows are also strategically placed um, throughout the project to aid with passive surveillance of the school. So there's always um, good passive surveillance across the site in both directions, uh, up and down that spine. This is the, ent the new entry courtyard between the kindergarten. So the kindergarten enters here through the gate and the um, junior learning hub here. Um, and this is, a, I guess, looking at the extension of that elevation back towards Elizabeth Street. The layering of brick textures um, adds a real warmth to the space um, and is an inviting and welcoming space for the kids to enter and also creates, I guess, seating areas and play spaces for the kids as well. The vibrant orange canopy and doorways, uh, I guess, announce the entries. And then this begins to spill into the interior of the spaces as well. This is that central uh, wet area space and you can see uh, connecting back to the one of the two breakout spaces with a desk here for informal or quiet learning. And back in the other direction, you can begin to see the, um, the upholstered seats there again for smaller breakout classes. And the ottoman here can also be manoeuvred and moved throughout the space. All of the windows again internally operate in a similar way by creating that passive surveillance to this um, central space as well, so that if kids come out in here, teachers can always see them in the spaces. Um, that scalloped or, I, I guess, yeah, curved form that was in the facade begins to translate to the interior space as well, creating this layering effect or breaking down the scale and creating sort of a village-like atmosphere um, in the interior spaces as well. One minute. Um, yeah, southern light comes into the space, um, as you can see from the highlight windows here. And then cooler tones are also used in the teaching spaces, which uh, complement the warmer tones of those corridor spaces. So you can see here the, the main teaching spaces can operate in dedicated learning, or you can have, I guess, team teaching across the two spaces when the operable walls um, are open and they become part of the whiteboard that allow that to happen. They also become an infrastructure for learning um, when they're in their closed position as well. Um, yeah, again, I guess the scalloped ceiling plays with form and height within the spaces and begins to draw the natural light into the spaces as well. So yeah, that's um, the project. We were super lucky to have had the opportunity to work on the project. And I think in the constraints of the VSBA, if anyone's familiar with that, um, we were pretty happy with the uh, outcome that we achieved.